multiple kids, multiple grades, multiple needs, and one mom. How do we do it all? If you're new here, I'm Ryan, a Christ-following wife and a homeschool mom to three boys. Here we talk all things homeschool, and we will learn together how to use our roles as wife, mom, teacher, and homemaker in order to glorify God. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes in our homeschool day, it feels like there are too many things that need to happen and too little of me to go around. But here's a look at a day in the life to see for now how that works for us. This is a collaboration hosted by my friend Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. So be sure to check out her channel in the description box down below and check out the playlist to see how all these other mamas make their day work with their varying amounts of kids. Not all of them have three kids like me. Some have four, five, six, and so on. Um, so go check that out and see how they run their days. As the sun warms the earth to an ideal temperature for supporting life, the atmosphere helps to trap the sun's warmth, keeping it close to the earth's surface. Without the atmosphere, heat from the sun would escape back into space. All right, good late morning we had a bit of a rough start today which is kind of par for the course this week it's been a little bit of a rough week but we are going to get started and i'm going to show you how we homeschool multiple kids at once i know it's kind of a tough one but um we're just gonna show you what we do and this is a little bit different day this is kind of a catch-up day because we have been so behind this week with all the stuff we've had going on you're gonna get to see a little bit of how we do things when we're behind which is different than a typical day so here's how we're gonna start out today we're going to use this down here in the pink kind of like a loop so we're going to start with some memory and read aloud which are together subjects then i'm going to work with them on language arts and independent work i'll show you how we work that out and then if we have time we'll move on to math whatever we don't get done today we will be doing saturday school this week because we have had a lot of time off this week for various appointments and stuff and he gave the apostles the office the evangelists, the shepherds, and the teachers. Okay, and then our new part. Quit the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. Okay, we didn't have very much memory work today because we're taking a break from our Claritas for this week. And so now we're going to move on to our read aloud, which right now is the year of the baby. My classroom is really noisy. I look around and there's a substitute, again. My stomach turns over. Do you think Anna should have joined the group doing the plant science experiment? Why or why not? Yes. Why? Because I think plants are cool. Jonas, what do you think? No. Why do you think no? Because everyone has all the people I've already heard about. Yeah, it's kind of boring. It's been done before. So maybe it'd be fun to do something new and exciting. But if you really like plants, then maybe it'd be a good thing to do too. Now on a typical day, I would do a little bit more with my three-year-old one-on-one, but since this was a makeup day and the big boys had a lot of school, I kind of just let my three-year-old play and draw and kind of have fun on his own. Dude, what are you working on while we're reading? <clears throat> um, I was working on making instructions for something I'm going to put on Minecraft. Some Minecraft plans? Yes. Pretty cool. What was Jonas working on? He's cutting out little Minecraft action paper. Minecraft figures. All right, so now that we have done our memory work and our read aloud, we're gonna move on to language arts. And the three-year-old is getting pretty antsy, and so instead of having my seven-year-old work on his independent work, I'm gonna have him 
work with um, the three-year-old just playing and keeping him occupied so that I can work with the nine-year-old. Look at Nathan. Nathan is on our side. Okay, we'll get him out. What are you playing? Uh, HQ. You're playing with PJ Mask HQ? Which one are you? Uh, get go? Get go. Is he your favorite? Yeah. Okay, so for week 24, the first part, we're going to read a passage about Henry the Fifth. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers, for he today that sheds his blood with me. All right, so we're gonna talk about synonyms. Read the following sentences in exercise one, all three of them. The sun of the beach was bright, the sun of the beach was clear, the sun of the beach was brilliant. All right, I just finished up language arts with my fourth grader. He is now studying his spelling words and his vocab words so that he can take a test for both of those subjects during independent time. I'm gonna make us some lunch for everyone and um, then we'll move on with the afternoon portion of our day. All right, we have finished up with lunch here. We have remote control cars out, if you can't hear that. Um, they're chasing my dog with them. And the kitchen is a wreck. So I'm gonna put the baby down for a nap I'm going to pick up the kitchen and we will be moving on to some independent work for my fourth grader and then some language arts for my second grader. No. Tuesday's child is full of grades. Wednesday's child is Thursday's child is tidy and neat. Friday's child is prone to love giggles. Saturday's child is Easy to do. Here's your copy work. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about all the months and the abbreviations for the months, okay? So what you do for the abbreviations is you do the first three letters and then a period. Now this kid's over here working on some math homework and I'm going to work with the second grader on some, um, we're going to correct his vocab assignment from the other day and then he's going to take his vocab test and then if we have time we'll get to some math. Why is a spade a useful tool to have in building sandcastles? So you can smoothen out the walls. You can smooth the walls of the outside of it, but what is a spade? Like a shovel. Shovel. So Okay, it is just about four o'clock, few minutes till, and we're calling it a day. Um, we did not get completely caught up, but like I said, we already knew that this week was gonna be a Saturday school week. So I have one kid over there writing out some spelling words that he missed on his test, and I am grading his math. Um, the second grader is done. He finished up all of his language arts and his vocabulary test. I just need to grade that. So I'm gonna do these two things of grading. He's gonna finish up his spelling, and we are calling it a day. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed watching how I 
fit in homeschooling all three of my kiddos and all three of their different levels and needs. And just be encouraged. You've got this mama. You might have to get a little bit creative. There may be good days. There may be bad days, but you can totally do this. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you check out up here our last day in the life. It was a really fun one. And let me know down below, how do you fit all of your kiddos into one day? Since this video is coming out on a Thursday, I will not have a Friday video this week, but be on the lookout Tuesday. I have a new biblical womanhood video coming up all about the company you keep. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.